Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a Boone high chair review. That's the high chair that I have. And I'm gonna tell you all about why I love it, pros and cons, and just realistic why I love it so much and why I think that you would love it too. If you have not already though, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also, this video somewhat follows my last video that I posted a couple weeks ago, um, my baby must-haves video. So this is just one item that had so many features I did not get into it in the last video, but today I'm going to share all of that. And I'll be breaking down all the pros and cons of why I love it, and hopefully it helps you if you are searching for a high chair or you are about to have a baby and are a little unsure about which to choose. So stay tuned and I'll be sharing all that info. Okay, first I'm gonna show you all the features of the high chair so you can kind of get an idea. Um, obviously it's light. I'm about 32 weeks pregnant and I'm lifting this like nothing. Um, so the high chair looks like this. As you can see, it has a foot stand here. All of this is adjustable tray comes out by pulling two little levers apart and then it just pops right out. You can see in the top of it, there's three notches here. This is the first setting that's closest to the child. This is the furthest away from the child and this is kind of like a resting spot. So you can just stick your tray as you can see the lips in the plastic here. It can also just rest here while you're putting the kid in or getting them situated or buckled. So I don't have the buckles in right now, but I'll show you them. But either way, this is the tray. It's a nice size tray and you can just stick food right on it. It also fits like my silicone placemats for my daughter. So she is a little bit bigger. So we usually do the middle setting. Also, like I mentioned, the buckles and things, it comes with a cushion, which is also neutral, like the high chair, which I loved. And it also has a, what do they call it? Like a five point harness. I'll, I'll show you how I install it. It's super, super easy. So when she was younger and smaller, I had the buckles on, of course. I didn't really have the cushion on just because it was just one more thing to wash. But the back of the cushion has one of these little, like, I don't even know, fabric pieces that fit right into this slot in the back here. Super easy. That's how all of the um, buckles go as well. So you just pull it through and then it grabs. And now it's in, so that's super easy. And I'll take the tray off again so that you can see a little bit better, but it is super, super easy. All the loops fit. So this is the crotch spot, which I'll do last because I'll show, up, show you another feature. This would be the baby's right side. Here's another loop, goes through right here. And you can see in the back where it's coming through. Easy as that. And that's not going anywhere. So same thing on the other side. It just pops through on the lower spot and on the upper spot. So now you have over the shoulder, which is adjustable with these straps here. And then this connects into the center buckle. So the center buckle goes through this bottom spot, but in order to secure it, you actually take the chair off. So there's these levers here that push down and release the chair. You do it on both sides, or I should say the seat. Literally the whole thing comes apart. Um, and so this little buckle here fits in to that little slot. 
and is locked in now. So it's as easy as taking it off. Pull this side and press down. Push this lever down and press down. Oops. If you aren't leaning it back, like I was. So you can hear that noise. You know it's secure. This is going to connect. So you've got legs coming out here and it's the baby is secure. They're not going to fall out. Super easy to remove if you don't want it. And also everything is machine washable, but I'll get to that because it's easy to clean is one of the top reasons why I would choose this high chair. Also, as you saw, I took some bibs off of the back. There's a little built-in hook. That was so clutch for me. I love it. I don't have to store these in my drawers now. So convenient and it's always there. So if anyone else is feeding the baby and they're like, where's the bibs? You don't have to explain where they can find them. They're already there. Super easy. And those are pretty much all the features um, as far as like just basic feeding. Another thing about it, I guess I can show you is the footrest is adjustable as well. There are, let's bring it over. There are five levels of the height. So as your child gets bigger, you can lower this. So they always have a place to rest their feet, which I'll get to why that's important later. And then also the seat itself. There are three separate legs here, pieces, the bottom, the middle, and the top. This will lower to tabletop height as well as as it sits now it is countertop height and then at the very lowest that's when your child is able to sit in a chair on their own it actually converts into a little toddler chair so pretty cool that it does grow with the child but all of that is just via these little metal buttons that you press to lock so super easy to use Okay, so one of the top pros I think about this high chair and why I chose it was price. I would say it's affordable. It's not the cheapest on the market by any means, but it's also not the most expensive. So when I first started researching high chairs, because I did not put this on a registry, it was so far down the road for me that I didn't have the time or I guess brain space to research a high chair because I did not want to just buy any old high chair. I wanted one that was going to last me for hopefully all of my children and also be what I wanted it to look like, have the features. I didn't really even know what I was getting into when it came to feeding my baby. So I left this until almost her first birthday to purchase. In my last video, you can see what I used in the meantime. So go check out that video so you can see how we did keep her in a mini high chair that was portable for almost one year for life. Um, and we still use it when we need it at restaurants and things like that. So check it out in my last video, but I waited that long to get this. This was one of Reagan's first birthday presents from a grandparent and for $150, I thought that was reasonable. This was like a middle of the road price range and it seemed to have all the other features that I was looking for. So the other pro I would say is how easy it is to clean. So you saw how I could detach the whole chair here. The tray comes off, the seat comes off. All of this can be thrown in your dishwasher. I've done it. Every now and then I take off the whole thing because it just gets so gross. That's another thing about high chairs. They get so disgusting. That's why I take out the cushion. I didn't want anything to do with that, but it is machine washable by the way, all the straps, the seat, but the plastic all can go in the dishwasher, which is so amazing to me. I wash her tray probably once a week in the dishwasher just so it can get sterilized. Um, but it's so easy to clean, you guys. Um, also, sometimes food can fall down in the cracks since I did take out the buckles. But as you saw, the seat comes off and I just like vacuum it up or wipe it out um, of when it's completely taken apart. It's so easy. So that's what I would say when you're a mom, you just don't have time for all the cleaning stuff or you don't have to be replacing a high chair for every kid because it just gets so gross and worn that 
it's just not usable anymore. Another pro that I mentioned was it's PT approved. So I actually talked to our physical therapist about high chairs and she mentioned that you want to have a footrest for the child because if their feet are just dangling, it's really hard on their hips. She also said if you're not getting a high chair that has the footrest, you don't want to have them in there for a long period of time. As you know with meals, who knows how long it's going to be, but this high chair passed that test. I showed it to her, I showed her the features, she was like, no, this is great. And it's not the trip trap, which was so expensive. She was like, don't spend a fortune on a high chair, but keep these things in mind. And this passed that test for her. Also the weight limit, keep in mind. I know a really popular high chair is the Ikea high chair. I think it's like 50 bucks, maybe at the most a hundred. It's very inexpensive, but it doesn't hold that much weight. And like, you don't know how big your toddler is gonna be and if you're wanting to use it for a toddler, which I get, they don't always wanna sit in the high chair, but it does contain them, which is why I still do use it for my daughter. You don't wanna have to worry about the weight limit and it tipping or things like that. So that's why I did opt to get the little, a little bit higher priced high chair, but I knew it was gonna be worth it and used for a long period of time. So I think those are all the pros, but let's get to the cons because I wanna be real here and let you know what I really have not liked about the high chair. It's few things, but I wanna state that because I, I would wanna know and that would be the size. So it's light, but as you can see the legs go from more narrow to wide. If you don't have a space like I do, I'll show you more directly. If you don't have a space like this, like I have plenty of wall space here, or I could have chose a different corner, like my sunroom is large. I had multiple options of where I could put this. If you don't, it might be too big for your space. And because of the way that it's designed, I've tripped over these legs so many times. Both my husband and I trip over it all the time. So you want it to be out of the way to avoid that, because that is not fun. Um, so I would say that's probably the biggest con. Because of the tripping and because of how large it is, keep that in mind when you're searching. There are other ones similar. The Ikea one, like I mentioned, is a little bit more narrow, but luckily we do have the space to set this out of the way and it's a wide open walking space. So if I just pay attention, I should not be tripping on this, but I have. My child has also, so you just keep that in mind. But honestly, those are my only cons here. Otherwise, I still love this product. I love this high chair and I would recommend it to everybody. Love this, it's made my life a lot easier and I like the way that it looks. So I hope this review is helpful to you and when you're searching for your high chair, it at least gives you things to consider because where do you start? And high chairs aren't cheap no matter what route you go. So you might as well buy one that's gonna be worth it for you in the long run instead of having to try and try again until you find the right fit for you. So I hope you like this video. If it's helpful, share it, like it, and again, subscribe to my channel so you can see all my new videos coming out. I'm gonna be doing a Mockingbird stroller review, so that's coming up, but I am gonna wait until I'm using the double stroller because I think that'll be more valuable to you guys when it comes to the review part, and then I can also tell you how it works because I will have two children in it and it's totally different putting kids in it versus just putting it together. So that's gonna be coming up. But for now, my baby must haves. And along with this review, hopefully it kind of gives you an idea of things that you need for your baby and are worth it for the money. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.